one of the biggest problems people have about an electric vehicle is the range that they get. And we call this range anxiety. So how far you can go with a single charge, how long is your commute back and forth to work, back and forth to the store or the office, what have you. You only have so much battery in these cars and you know, you can buy bigger batteries, but they tend to cost a lot more money. Well, a heck of a lot more money. My Tesla gets about uh, 320 kilometers range. If I need to extend that, uh, I can go to like the long range mode, gets me to about 350. Uh, but you know, overall it works for me. My commute is, it's not, not short. I, you know, have to do about 45 to 50 kilometers, uh, you know, one way. And so for the day that's 90 to 100 kilometers. So, you know, I get uh, two, maybe three trips without having to recharge the battery, but I never let that go. I always charge it at night when I, I get home basically. But the challenge though, John, is some of the earlier EVs in the market, they're only getting about 200 kilometers range or less. Or much less. Yeah, yeah. which would scare the heck out of me. Yeah, and it's fine if you're just going to and from the store and that type of thing and just puttering around town, but where the range really comes into play is places like the highway. Your wheels are always in motion. The motors are constantly providing power. So unlike a gas vehicle where they always tout the highway mileage, highway mileage is actually the worst kind of mileage for an EV. Driving in the city is much better because you're starting and stopping a lot. And with an EV, you have regenerative braking. So you're actually spending half the time putting power back into the battery as you are on the highway, which is you're always depleting it. Um, but the thing for me was that I had to really wrap my head around is it's not just how far is the office and back, but other things. Is it cold out? Because cold will actually affect the battery life. Uh, are you always running your air conditioning or your heater? Those also affect the battery life. So when you combine all those things together, it really gives you a good idea of what the range is for a vehicle. And in my case, in my car, it actually has uh, sort of a way of sort of figuring out my driving style, which also can affect your, your range. So if you're a very aggressive driver, for example, that's gonna reduce your range. Um, in my car, they call it the GOM, the, the guessometer. <laughs> it's literally what the car thinks the range is based on my driving style, what's turned on in the car, and the conditions outside. So that gives you a better idea. My car is rate, rated at around 250 kilometers range, but because of my driving style, and if I turn off you know, a lot of the creature comforts, I can get well over 300 kilometers, no problem. That's gonna be reduced in the winter time, uh, but again, it depends on what you do. Like you could use the seat heat instead of the full heat and heating up the whole cabin, that type of thing. There's lots of different options you can have, and you, you get a pretty detailed sort of report on your in-car display about what is being used, how much energy is being re uh, required for that particular feature or service. And that can also sort of affect your mindset about how you're gonna use your vehicle. Um, at the end of the day though, it's still way better than a gas vehicle. Uh, I would trade this sort of anxiety, if you will, uh, for not having to go to a gas station again. Yeah, I don't worry about it anymore because I'm comfortable with knowing how far my car can go, especially, you know, in town here. And there, you know, especially in urban areas and even suburban, suburban areas uh, now, uh, suburban, that's the word I'm trying to say, uh, there's chargers everywhere. So I, I kind of know where the chargers are, you know, where I'm going and on my route, if I ever have to stop to get a charge. Again, with Tesla's, they got the superchargers, which are like fire hoses full of electricity in there. Uh, you've got the level three DC chargers uh, and there's more and more of those. So the only time I have a bit of anxiety is if I'm planning a long trip to go right. somewhere. So then you just have to figure out where are the charging stations along the way. Yeah, and there's apps for that. A Better Route Planner, for example, will help you plan your route, show you all the charging stations along the route, and even tell you how long you need to stop and charge at each stop along the way. So a long road trip is not out of the question. You just have to do a little bit more pre-planning for it.